got both parents at home. I understand those things, but you got a pastor. I understand all those things. I know it's a different situation. But if a boy would maneuver, bypass you on certain things, bypass certain people, principal people in your life, that boy is no good. You might always don't waste your time with him. Tell him, go on. Just don't, don't even bother me. I appreciate one girl. She made a statement to a young boy. He just walked up to her. He said, sister, God showed me you're my wife. She said, praise God. Just let him show it to me. <laughs> That's the best answer she could ever get. Let him show me that you're my husband. But you get some girl that's so feeble. And what Satan loves to do, that's why it's so important to have strong family relationship between husband and wife. Because Satan is smart. If it's troubles in the home between mama and daddy, it's affecting the girl. Her emotions is all tore up, seeing what mama and daddy is doing, and she wants companionship from mama and daddy. Amen. If it's not there, that gives that slicker that right opportunity to slip right in and tell her the words she wants to hear. That's why it's important for family bonds. Can we say amen? amen? Let me keep going on here. Oh, wow. It's 11.43. Oh, wow, wow, wow. We probably have to finish this tomorrow. It, it starts at 12, dinner, don't it? Lunch. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I appreciate that, but my, my, my. I appreciate you want me to go, but there are rules. I really appreciate that. We got another day. I don't think I hope that you just go to sleep early tonight. <laughs> Service is at 7 in the morning. It's at 7. And I, want, I, gotta, I gotta obey the rules. Amen. I have to do that. Amen. Amen. We'll finish this in the morning. But do me a favor. If a boy already don't ask you for your number, just get away from him. He's no good. I'm just being real with you. you. He ain't no good. I'm just trying to help you from a lot of hurt. And young boy, he ought to just go, ding, she gave it to me. It ought to let you know something ain't right. Don't let a boy talk to you any kind of way, sister. When a boy calling you slain words and slain names, he's actually disrespecting you. Calling you a chick and all these other kind of names. What's up, shawty? What's up, girl? Y'all know, y'all know the words I'm talking about. Those are slain names. He's actually disrespecting you. And you're going to like stuff like that. You know, Brother Brandon said that. Brother Brandon said you can call them chicks. And he said whatever name you want to call them, he said they like it. If you like being called slain names and, and them saying stuff to you like that, you shame on you. He's disrespecting your womanhood is what he's doing. He's looking at you like you're some kind of product or something, some kind of merchandise, when he should be treating you like a daughter of God. Amen. Don't let him disrespect you like that. Amen. Please, all I ask you to do is just listen. Amen. Musicians could come. We'll try to get into this tomorrow again. Because I tell you, I wish I had about a good five more days. We'll keep on going right with it. <laughs> Time just so short. Yeah. But take this little bit. Please don't get to joking about it because when you start getting joking and stuff, it pulls all the sincerity out of it. Yeah. We're here to build you up, Amen. give you material that you can think about, things you can work with so you can have a better future. You won't be in the bracket of those six months in divorce, eight months in divorce, but you'll be in that bracket happy ever after. That's what we want to see. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Let's just bow our heads. Dear Jesus, I'm so thankful, Father, for your grace and mercy. I didn't realize what time it was. We're just getting started, Father, but I just pray tomorrow, Lord, that you will help us to pick up the inspiration again. And we could finish the subject that the young people could go home, have something in their hearts that they can look towards to. Look at us just as adults, been there, done that, and we're trying to just help them to see what the enemy 
could blindside them on certain things that they can be watchful in prayer about these things, Lord. Father, I love you. We love your presence that's here. And we're praying for the servants tonight. Lord, there's many that didn't come to the altar last night, should have been here. And I'm praying tonight you'll get those. Let another unction of the Holy Spirit come down and anointing like it did last night. Let it repeat again. Bless Brother Craig. Strengthen his body, Father. Because God, we're not leaving nothing behind. I want to be just like Moses. When Pharaoh tried to get him to leave the little ones behind. Moses said, we're not leaving nothing. Not even a hoof. We're taking everything that belongs to God. I got that same attitude, Lord. We're not going to leave nothing behind. Everything in here, oh God, we're going after everybody. Every young person, we're claiming them for the kingdom, Father. We as ministers and the, uh, the, the counselors and so forth, we're putting our shoulder to shoulder together, Father, with one purpose, to do something for the kingdom and to help these young people. Many things, they think they know things, and they're walking right into traps. Would you just help us, Father, like you've been doing, to continue these services? I ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray. The church says, Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. God bless you. Amen. How many is thankful for godly instruction? Amen. 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 Let's put it in the key of F. Let's stand together. Let's sing He Knows My Name. I have a father. Because...